show you all a patient that's now over two years out, it's actually two years and three months, who had a limb-threatening uh, ulcer and bone infection. And we did a series of uh, treatments in his foot all at one time to help his foot get better. Now, what happened was he had some pretty significant resection of bone due to emergency uh, admission in the hospital. So they had to do a lot of, uh, a pretty big IND on him and take bone out as well to get rid of uh, acute osteomyelitis. After that, it left him with an ulceration here on the bottom of his foot, which also became pretty significant and, and infected in the bone. So what we did to balance his foot back up, instead of doing a transmet amputation, what we did, we raised the metatarsals utilizing mentally invasive surgery. And we did one more thing, which is kind of neat. Where he had the infection in the bone here, we performed a mentally invasive surgery. We denuded the infected bone and expressed it out of his foot. And then we took uh, antibiotic impregnated beads and placed it into his foot to allow that, to, that antibody to sit right on the bone. So anyway, now we're over two years out. He's able to walk. He's able to do what he wants to do. He doesn't wear a special shoe or anything. And the ulcer has not come back in two and a half years. So I think we got him, got him fixed over here. Now what we like to do in the beginning stages, instead of getting things to where, you know, they're so advanced where you got bone infection, you can do tendon rebalancing to get rid of most of these ulcers in their early stages. I'm going to show you his other foot now. We've got his other foot. We now have an ulcer on the bottom of the foot, which kind of started like this in the other foot, a little bit different location. But this is kind of easy to correct. You don't have to go real extensive with this and do bone work. We're going to do a gas heart recession on him, or either Achilles tendon lengthening, and this will go away. So. Uh, we decide which we want to do based on whether we do it in the hospital or not. So that's why we, we're saying either one. So that's what we're doing with that, and we try to get rid of the ulcer this way without having to do bone work.